What is up guys? Nathan here from the Emerald Dimension and I am so excited to show you the new figure that I was finally able to track down for a reasonable amount of price. It was $49 with shipping on eBay. Um, I did not want to shell out more money than I had to, but I, I fell into the scalper part of eBay and I actually bought it. But I was really wanting to get this figure because I wanted because I saw some reviews and uh, he actually scales uh, like his head was the top of his head was right at uh, the Diamond Select Red Hulk's shoulders, and as some of you know, Red Hulk the Diamond Select Red Hulk is the one I have. That's one I always uh, used. I always use Diamond Select Hulks because I just like the scaling. Um, but now I want one because I want to be able to pose it like. Some like sporadic pictures, I guess. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, I guess get into it. <laughs> um, alright, hold on. Ooh, sorry. Mm, move the camera a little bit. Hold on, I'm just trying to uh, sit down in a comfortable spot. Alright, so this Red Hulk is about, well, we'll measure it when we open it, but I've got to my trusty. Scissors. Hold on. Scissors. I do not have a Stanley knife. Sadly. Imagine if they actually sold those. That would be really cool. But, uh, okay. So, open that. So, let's take a look. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep moving this tripod because I'm sitting right in front of it. Um, oh, I'm just going to try to tighten it up. There we go. Alright, and move this a little bit down. Alright, enough of technical difficulties. Um, here's the side art. I think this is the side art from the first Red Hulk comic. Um, Red Hulk. <laughs> uh, Red Hulk on the side, and then Red Hulk, and then uh, Red Fist. So, uh, as you guys, um, some of you know that this is a Target exclusive, but um, I don't know when it was actually supposed to come out, so yeah. Uh, I guess let's just get into it. Uh, but yeah, I was able to snag one because some trucks actually released this, I think, early than it was supposed to. I think that's the story, but I'm not totally sure. Alright. Let's open this up. I do like the fire back here. That is really cool. Alright. So right here, he's in the bubble. I'll take him out. And, uh... Sorry, that was very loud. And um, as some of you might know, that this is my first ever Marvel Legends Hulk. This is... Uh, I've only had Diamond Select ones, so... Yeah, uh, the reason why I got this is because it, it looked good with the other Red Hulk. But yeah, here it is, and it, it's looking pretty good. Um, I, I like the head sculpt on it. Um, can't really get some of the paint details, but he's got some like orange fading and stuff in here, and it's, it's really cool. He's a uh... yeah, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, let's go over. Oh, he's got painted fingers and then painted Hulk toes. It's it's, it's weird. These Mattel or not Mattel Hasbro feet look kind of tiny to me. Do they to you guys? Um, but yeah. All right, so uh, his head moves up. Kind of, hmm. Yeah, he doesn't move up anymore. So yeah, I guess that's how far you'll move up. Move it up. Um, head does go down that much. Does turn side to side. Um, kind of a pivot. Not really. Um, his arms move. Circle. Move, hold on. Do move out that far. Maybe a little bit farther, I think. I don't know. No, that's as far as they go. Um, bicep swivel. I can't turn all the way, but I'm just not going to. Um, single jointed elbow. He's kind of got that weird elbow thing that the uh, WWE figures have, like the basics. Got, they got weird elbows. I don't know why. They took out the bicep joint, too. Alright, so, and, uh, it has a hand, it turns, and then it has a hinge, down and up, and then, you've got some ways turning, 
this is more, excuse me, this X is more like an ab crunch. So I can crunch this far forward. Just gonna move his arm back a little bit. Um, and then he moves this far back. Um, and then he's got waist swivel, I think it's called. Um, his leg move out this far. I don't have to show the other one. Um, what else? Oh, upper thigh cut. Um, his legs do kick out this far, and they do um, kick out that far. Sorry that the stupid camera is not really catching this stuff. I'm trying to get a good angle. Okay, so it kicks out, kicks forward a that far. Um, and then he has. Double joint knees, and then uh, he has the his feet move forward, and they do not obviously move back. Um, and then they do have ankle pivot, ankle rocker pivot. Um, tribute to Glenn Webb. I'm going to move it as far out as I can. I think this is how far you can go out. We're both feet flat on the floor, kind of. But yeah, that is how far he goes. Oh, I'm just gonna set the uh, articulation pack to where it was so I can compare it. Oh, and uh, the accessories he does come with are obviously his uh, extra hands. I'll show you this first. Um, obviously, the nails are not painted on the inside of the fist, he does, and his thumb is painted. Um, I'm just trying to move the light. So you guys can see, and kind of see. And then, uh, obviously, this is a grabbing hand. It does have painted nails on there. But yeah, I like that. Obviously, it came with some. All right, and he does measure out. Hold on. Oh. He does measure out to be um almost almost nine inches. I guess eight and a half. I would say. Oh, and he fell down. Thanks, Red Hulk. Um, well, I'm just gonna move it up a little bit, just so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see it. Um, he's almost nine inches, not quite. Um, but... Now we'll, uh, compare it to the Red Hulk, uh, figure. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this will not shake the inner core of my playroom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, cause this this figure's kind of heavy, and uh, oh yeah, see that's how heavy he was. He made me shake the camera. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so uh, Marvel Legends Red Hulk. All right, to compare it, um, also I do not have a um, the obviously original Red Hulk build a figure because, like I said, this is my first ever Marvel Legends Hulk. So there you go. His head reminds me of a walnut for some reason. Um, but anyway, his head uh, comes right about to the shoulders or the traps, I think they're called. These shouldered muscles. I think that's what they're called. Um, uh, he's got gray pants. I do like his shorts a little bit, but I do like these ones too. Um, and I, I kind of wanted to get some uh, Marvel Legends Red Hulk because... Marvel Legends Red Hulk? I want to get some uh, Red Hulk from Marvel Legends because... Um, it's, they're more poseable and stuff, and, uh, it's just a lot easier to, you know, just pose it, I guess. Um, and this one, he does have some stiff joints, and I do not want to try to break them. Uh, cause that's something, as a collector, you do not want to do. You don't want to break your figure. And, uh, alright, so, bye-bye, Red Hulk. And here he is, standing right next to a... Um, normal six inch action figure, I'm pretty sure this is six inch. Oh my god. So yeah, he scales pretty good with the figures. Um, I kind of wish he was a bit taller. Um, actually I'm going to grab a different figure because that's not really doing any justice. Um, is this Iron Man? I have displayed on my shelf. 
Alright guys, sorry about that, my stupid camera cut off. Um, I guess I have to show this Iron Man again. Um, Alright, like I was saying, I wish he was a bit taller, but it does scale well with Iron Man. Um, I do not, I don't think I have any defenders on my display right now. I do have a Daredevil hanging up on my ceiling. And also I was, I forgot to actually show the defender, or not defenders, the, my uh, hanging figures, like they're flying in the air in my playroom. I forgot to show that, but you guys, you seen it in the last uh, toy room, or not toy room, uh, room tour before the last one. So it was the second to last one. Use. It, nothing changed because I, I haven't hanging up, hung up anything, not hang up. Um, but yeah, I do like this Iron Man figure. Um, I kind of like the head sculpt. Um, can't really see it, but because it's a little too bright. Um, all right, all right. Um, oh, one last comparison, and a figure fell. Just to my luck. All right. One of my, I guess, favorite Hulk figures, because I like that he's, like, gritty and kind of dark. He actually kind of does scale well with this, uh, Red Hulk. Hold on, I'm just trying to, uh, move this. Because I don't need the bright light there anymore. Um, he actually does kind of scale well with him. So, yeah, I guess that is pretty good. Uh, I don't like that Green Hulk. For, uh, I like that Green Hulk, but one thing I do not like in it is you cannot move his head up at all. So, as you see, you can't move his head up, you can move it down, you cannot move it up. For some reason, it's like a weird hinge because of his hair. But yeah, um, I guess I'll leave that review there, and uh, I don't know. Hold on. And also, guys, I'm sorry, I forgot to show this joint. It is the butterfly joint, so he does move back this far, and then he does move um, forward. He doesn't have a forward butterfly joint, but he does have a back. And moves out that far. So, yeah. Just want to show that off. I'll be right back. But, yeah, guys. I really do like this Hulk figure. There is some minor things I have a problem with. Uh, one is the uh, butterfly joints. It does not move forward that much at all. So, you can't really have him doing anything like, like, doing like a, like, I don't know, a big punch on somebody's face, but, uh, yeah, right here we have him fighting Red Hulk, and then Red Hulk's being like, why? Why did you forget me? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I encourage you guys to pick this up, because it is a pretty good figure. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I just said that twice. Um, if you did, like, subscribe, and, uh, I'm gonna try to be getting some Oculus videos done. Uh, I just haven't figured out how to transport them yet, but, yeah. Hopefully you guys pick up this figure. It is a pretty good one. Alright, bye-bye.